Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this now is exponential equation. Solution from here. And what is given here? Let's take 3 raised to power 6 to the left hand side. Then this becomes x plus 5 all raised to power 6 minus 3 raised to power 6 then equals to 0 from here. Now this from here we can write this as x plus 5 all raised to power 3 then all raised to power 2 as 2 times 3 here will be 6 then minus 3 raised to power 3 then raised to power 2 from here which is equals to 0 on this side then what we have here follows when we have a square minus b square which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets then open brackets a minus b then here a same thing as x plus 5 raised to power 3 then b same thing as 3 raised to power 3 that is what we have here then becomes x plus 5 raised to power 3 plus 3 raised to power 3 into brackets then also open bracket x plus 5 raised to power 3 minus 3 raised to power 3 close bracket equals to 0 from here then here we have two possible cases that is the first one we have x plus 5 all raised to power 3 plus 3 raised to power 3 equals to 0 or we have x plus 5 all raised to power 3 minus 3 raised to power 3 equals to 0 from here then solving on this side this follows from a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3 which is equals to a plus b into bracket then open bracket a square minus a b plus b square that is here this becomes x plus 5 then plus 3 into brackets then open bracket x plus 5 all squared then minus 3 times x plus 5 then plus 3 squared plus bracket equals to 0 from here that is here this is same thing as x plus 8 then into bracket then open bracket here we have the expansion here becomes x square plus 10x plus 25 the minus 3 open bracket here we have minus 3x minus 15 then plus 3 squared as 9 close bracket equals to 0 from here that is we have x plus 8 then into bracket open bracket here we have x square then 10x minus 3x that's plus 7x and we have 25 minus 15 that's 10 then plus 9 that's 19 close bracket equals to 0 from here which implies here we have two cases x plus 8 equals to 0 or we have x square plus 7x plus 19 equals to 0 from here that is here we have x equals to minus 8 which is a real solution from here and on this side here this follow from quadratic equation where a here equals to 1 b equals to 7 and c equals to 19 and apply the formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a that is here this becomes x equals to minus 7 
plus or minus square root of 7 square minus 4 times 1 times 19 then over 2 times 1 that is here we have x equals to minus 7 plus or minus square root of 7 square here we have 49 then minus 4 times 1 times 19 we have minus 76 then over 2 that is this becomes x equals to minus 7 plus or minus square root of minus 27 over 2 from here that is we can write it as x equals to minus 7 plus or minus square root of 9 times 3 times minus 1 then over 2 which implies we have x equals to minus 7 plus or minus here we have root 9 times root 3 times root minus 1 then over 2 that is here yeah, this become x equals to minus 7 plus or minus root 9 that's 3 then we have root 3 root minus 1 that's i then over 2 so here we have two complex solutions from here then from the second case here this follows from when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 which is equals to a minus b into bracket and open bracket a square plus a b plus b square close bracket that is here what we have becomes x plus 5 then minus 3 into brackets then open bracket we have x plus 5 squared then plus 3 times x plus 5 then plus 3 squared close bracket equals to 0 from here then here this becomes x plus 2 into brackets then here we expand this and we have x square then plus 10 x plus 25 also 3 expand this we have plus 3 x plus 15 then plus 3 square that's 9 close bracket equals to 0 from here which implies that here we have x plus 2 into brackets and open bracket here give us x square 10x plus 3x that's plus 13x and we have 24 25 plus 15 that's 40 then plus 9 that's 49 <clears throat> which implies that here we have two possible cases that is x plus 2 equals to 0 and also x squared plus 13x plus 49 equals to 0 from here. And here we have x equals to minus 2. Also this here is a real solution from here. Then here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to 13, and c equals to 49. And from the formula... We have x now equals to minus 13 plus or minus square root of 13 squared minus 4 times 1 times 49 then over 2 times 1. Which implies here we have x equals to minus 13 plus or minus square root of 13 squared as 169 then minus 4 times 1 times 49. We have minus 196 then over 2 here. And here we have x equals to minus 13 plus or minus square root of. This gives us minus 27 then over 2. And here we have root minus 27. Same thing as root 9 times 3 times minus 1 which is 3 root 3 i from here 
Then here we have x now equals to minus 13 plus or minus 3 root 3 i then over 2. Also here we have two complex solutions. Then all together we have six solutions from here. That is we have two real solutions and we have two complex solutions here. Two complex solutions here. Making six solutions together. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to step, subscribe for more videos. And turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Put your comments. And see you next class. Bye for now.